What's going on guys? I'm Louie here from Sin City Living. This is Jason. I'm that guy. He's that guy. And uh, today we're going to be doing a Superstitions Part 2. As always, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and we appreciate our patrons. All tips and support are only going to go towards making the channel better. We hope to add a few more games mm -hmm. in over time. If you're curious, just check the description of the video for more information. And if you have any strategies of your own that you would like us to feature, just email us at SinCityLivingLV at gmail.com. So, I'm go gonna, for it, Louis. I'm going to start off with uh, the same dice. Same dice oh, requested. Yes. <laughs> same dice requested. Uh, <laughs> this one will drive... It doesn't necessarily drive me crazy, but... If a die goes... Yeah, it makes me laugh. But if a die goes halfway across the casino and people are spending half an hour looking for it and they want the same die, then... Oh, then it, it, I'm exaggerating when I say you know halfway across the casino and half an hour to look for it. But sometimes it will take it will take a hot second because depending on the color of the die, depending on the color of the carpet, depending on where it went or who saw what direction it went. They'll take a U-turn. We'll see it going this way, but as soon as it hits the carpet with those corners, they might take a U-turn. We'll go. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was heading that way, and they'll find it over there, 15 feet. Or like, people how? people will come walking by and they'll start kicking it on that oh, yeah. because they, they don't see anything. They'll just walk in. They'll kick the die somewhere. That actually happened. It got kicked twice. Each time when they were bending down to pick it up, someone else booted it. I'm, I'm standing there watching, trying not to laugh. It was an action riot. That's funny. But uh, there's... I, I, I am curious on that, too. The, all the other dice have the same number of sides, weigh the exact same, or the exact same size, have the exact same probability of numbers rolling. Yeah. So what really what really amuses me on this on the same dice thing though is when it's a come out roll. Oh yeah. It's a come out roll. <laughs> yeah. It's a player's first shot. They they're trying to set a point. The first you know we just handed them the dice. They're not even on a hot roll. It's their first roll. Right. They throw the dice. One goes off the table. Same dice. What? But we just for, came out. For what reason? You, yeah. You, did, are, is it because these dice are going to roll the number that you said? You didn't that. set a point yet. Are these dice hot? You don't know. You just <laughs> threw them and you threw one off the table. Right. I'm just baffled by that one. That they, one absolutely cracks me. They up. just know it. That's that's all it is. They just know when they grab them. They're like, "Oh, these are the ones, <laughs> right? These are the ones right here where I'm gonna win my ten dollar field bet." What? Those dice are the one ring. Oh my gosh! One ring to rule one them. Ring to one, rule. one die to rule them all. Yeah, exactly. It it doesn't make any sense. I mean, no. during a hot roll, die goes off or something, or goes you know inside, or it's you know the same dice, same dice. And the way I imagine is that because they're having a hot roll, those are the hot dice. They don't want them. You hear, I don't want the, the, the dice are cooling off. The dice are cooling off. What? What do you mean the dice are cooling off? Yeah, that one cracks me up. When there's like a gap, when, when there's a pause because, you know, we're play, paying out some bets or somebody's got some tricky stuff. And, oh, come on, give me the dice. Dice are cooling off. You're cooling, you're, you're cooling off the shooter. What? Yeah. Exactly how, like, that, that, what sense does that, oh, speaking of which, another one of my favorite ones. Actually, this one drives me nuts and drives most floors, almost every floor nuts, too. Dice setting? When people tip the shooter. Oh, when people yeah. People tip the shooter, like, oh, man, that shooter, is, that shooter did a great job. Yeah, they, yeah they, they really worked hard. I mean, they, they, they threw quarter ounce pieces of plastic and got lucky. Cause, tell me exactly how that, I mean, I, I, it, it baffles me, it boggles my mind. People are like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip my turn because this person's a really good shooter. You mean they had a good hand last time around? Yeah. It, and, and it's it's astonishing <laughs> how much people have a fantastic hand, and then the yeah. next four times they throw the dice, it's they point suck. out. Yeah. You know, and along with that, the people that that come up to the <clears> table, <throat> I'm a great shooter, or you guys just need to pass them to me. That cracks me up because nine yeah. times out of ten, they throw the worst hands on the table. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's just it it. it Boggles the mind. Yeah, I don't understand it. Uh, what, what gives them the impression that you're a good shooter or a bad shooter? Nobody's a good or a bad shooter. It's not a skill-based game. No, it's it's. It comes down to probability. The probability of how the dice land. Yeah. And know? that probability does not change as long no. as you, as long as you don't don't cheat, which means that you throw the dice and they come off the back wall. Right. You hit the back wall and tumble. It is absolutely by every law of this universe impossible to control how the dice are going to land or affect in any way, shape, or form. Right. So if you slide the dice or have controlled shooting, which would take tens of thousands of hours and require you not to hit the back wall to right. give you maybe a one percent mm. chance of of slightly affecting the outcome. Um, 
that's both both of those are cheating. In fact, right. dice sliding has got people arrested. Um, if you hit the back wall and, and the dice tumble, there is absolutely no way to affect it, which goes to another superstition, dice setting. Yeah. This is one that we usually don't talk about on the videos because people that believe in dice control are about as rabid as flat earthers. Oh. But it's just, it, there, there is absolutely no possible way if you hit the back wall and make, if the dice hit the back wall and tumble, there's no possible way to control it. Right. It's just, it, it's not possible. If there was possible, the game wouldn't exist. Yeah. Remember, these games have been, one, around for decades and decades and decades, if not centuries, some of them. Yeah. And two, these games have been gone, gone over in depth and detail by multiple PhDs yeah. to work out every possible permutation of every aspect of the game to make sure that it is fair. Yeah. Not to mention these games are regulated, too, by... Uh, Heavily regulated yes. and tested. Um, so yeah, the dice setting um, or the rituals. I love, I love the rituals. You know, okay, let me, let me, let me set my dice and let me turn it this way. Then let me look at the bottom. Then let me look at the sides. And now I need to dry off my hand. And then they start tapping around, it on everything. Tap the dice, a couple quick circles, and then throw them. Meanwhile, everyone else at the table is just going. I just think most of these people are attention whores, and now that's that, that, quite that's, possible. They, that's they, their time to shine. Right, that is their time to say, hey, look at me. I know what I'm doing. I'm a fantastic dice shooter. You look like a clown. Yeah. I mean... I mean, yeah, a little bit, sure. You know, I get it. Uh, you know, you know, you always like the dice on a certain number. Um, right. You know, that's fine. You know, you got... To, I, I'm not going to lie. There have been times where I went out to play dice, and I set the dice on a 12 every single time. Most of the time, I just pick them up and just chuck them. That's they, how they I do it. the dice, I pick them up, and I chuck them. Right. But there's been times where I just kind of playing around, and I just kind of set it and just... And launched it, sure. I didn't go through this three-minute ritual. Huh. This ten-second ritual. You want to set the dice because you believe that makes a difference? Cool. Mm. It, it's your game. Have fun with it. That's fine. But when you're going to set the dice and then turn them around each other and spin it and then stack them up perfect, make turn them, look at the bottom. I don't understand the looking at the bottom thing. you got to make sure the bottom one's correct. But I just, yeah. Uh, look at the bottom. Tap on everything. Then dry your hand off. Because it's hard work, though, these quarter ounce uh, pieces of plastic. And then spin them around every bet three times before you throw them. At that point, you just look like a clown. And there, I've actually seen people that, that get mad because the casinos understand that there's other people playing as well, not just you. Yeah. And other people deserve to have a game at a decent pace. Not a lightning fast pace, right. but at a decent pace. Right. So at a certain point, the floors are going to tell you, look, you need to throw the dice. Yeah. And, oh, don't tell me. You can't tell me how to shoot. Well, no, we can't. We can just take the dice away from you and let someone else shoot. Right. Even in the middle of your point. I actually did that to somebody the other day, um, and they weren't allowed to shoot for the rest of the night. Uh, but they did stay in play for a couple of hours, and they didn't argue with us either, which, yeah. was, which was a rarity right there. But, yeah, these, these rituals are just, oh, my God. You know, I've got bit, one. Have fun with it. Cool. But go through this big, elaborate ritual. You're just an attention whore, like, he's, like, like Louis said. I, I've got one. It, 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 it's still with the dice setting. The people that will set the dice perfect, do the whole ritual, <laughs> and then shake it. <laughs> I knew you were going to go like that. That makes everybody laugh. Oh, I think, oh my God. I think one, day, one day you were sitting on my game, and there was, and I, there was this dude setting the dice, and then he, he, he did the whole ritual, starts shaking them, and I lean over. And I think I might have mentioned something to you, and we both started laughing about the whole situation. This might have been like a year ago, but it was so... Every time I see it, it makes no sense. <laughs> it's just an absolute riot. Got the dice right Okay. <laughs> oh my god, it doesn't. I heard a player one time say, he leans over, he's, he's with, his, he's with his, 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 his girl, and uh, he's you know, trying to show off you know, that he knows the game, he knows, he knows how, how the game works, and he goes, it's, it's actually, it's math, it's math, it's science. He goes, you see the way that they set the dice, that mathematically proves that uh, or mathematically reduces his uh, his chance of rolling a seven. It's just math. It's science at this point. <laughs> and I was I leaned I leaned over and like luckily we had this is when we had the mask on. I leaned over and started laughing to myself. It was Thank it was so. About, I heard the exact same conversation once. Oh my gosh. And yeah, it's 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 funny. It, it's an absolute riot. Like I, I'm not too sure what uh, what video game comic book science they're working off of, but. It's just science, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, just, oh, math yeah, it's just science. I mean, it's just, it's he, just, he's mathematically reducing his chance of rolling a seven. 
He's increasing his chance of rolling whatever his point it is. It makes no sense. It's so stupid. As long as they hit that back wall, it doesn't matter. Oh my gosh. I, I know a player. He uh, has trouble hitting the back wall, so he's, he's not allowed to shoot anymore. But he's, he is one of the more superstitious players I've ever seen. And even as a player, he, he believes that as somebody, as somebody is throwing the dice, he'll go and fake like he's going to put a field bet down. And then, but he won't even have chips in his hand. He'll just do that. He'll just do that as if he's telling, he's trying to convince, the, he's trying to trick the dice into thinking he was going to bet the field. He'll... You know, as as the player throws the dice, you know he'll do something like that, like he's gonna throw in a bet because he likes to bet the center action. Like he's trying to trick the dice into thinking he was gonna bet a field bet or bet a, a hard way or something. So yeah. the dice will, will land on something else. Like somehow he's he's the the dice are apparently sentient. I mean they're 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 transparent. So like the people think we have magnets. They're transparent. Yeah. But apparently the dice are sentient, and he, he has all oh. these things. It's an absolute right. He used to have a big ritual, too, before he was cut off from shooting. That was really stupid. But it just, oh. he, he literally, he'll have the chips in his hand. The player picks up the dice to throw them, and he'll go to, like, to trick the dice into thinking he was betting the field. Or he'll go, and he'll do that a couple times. Oh my and God! Like, what the hell are you? That's doing? annoying. Oh, it's just—it's an absolute. Oh, his, his, his ritual. He would, he would uh, get the dice, spin around each other a couple times. He would set them. He'd dry his hands. He would do a cage over the dice and then, and then pick them up and throw them. And he'd throw them at, at such a low velocity that oh. they wouldn't even come close to the to the back wall. So eventually, he got, he got cut <laughs> off the shooting. But, but uh, yeah, it's absolute riot right there. What the what 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 what? That doesn't make any sense. These rituals and these these superstitions. How about the one on roulette where they have to make their bets once the ball is moving. They can't make their bets while somebody's mucking or they're 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 paying people out or not they're paying people when they're somebody buys in and you know the 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 dealer's moving moving the chips to the player when you do roulette as well you're also giving the player time to you know to make to make their bets you don't want to just every hand spin the ball okay no more bets no you'll sit there and wait a little bit you'll sit there and wait a little bit you know look watch make sure they'll have a couple players you know give you some money to set up some bets but you have one two players they'll sit there and wait as soon as that ball's moving, they'll start, then they'll start making their bets. And then once the ball starts slowing down, and then the dealer goes, no more bets, they start waving off. They're like fighting, like and pushing against, you know, the hand of the dealer. It, it makes no sense. It's just like the dice players that don't place a bet until the dice. Are oh, you talking about the field betters? Oh my god. A lot of times it's field betters. Sometimes the center action betters. Oh. A lot, a, a lot of times it's the field where they sit there and they're holding their money, and we'll look at them. Do you have any bets? Now's the time. Yeah. And they just sit there holding their money. It's their bet is in their hand and they're waiting and they're waiting. We hand the dice to the shooter. And oh like, my gosh! What? What? Just what? Why? Yeah. Just why? And yet those same players, if they're shooting, oh, all hell break loose. Furious if someone bought in, in the middle of the roll. Yeah. Because somehow that also affects the dice. Yeah, buying in during the middle of a roll. I never understood that either. Yeah. Uh, but what I, I will say this: as it is a courteous. Dealer, as a dealer. It drives me nuts if someone buys in in the middle of a roll and does not place a bet. If you buy in in the middle of the roll yeah, make a bet. and you make some bets, cool, you're joining the game. That's perfectly fine. That's right. no different than a mid-shoe entry in right. blackjack. But if someone's in the middle of rolling and you buy in, take your chips, put them on the rail, and then just sit back and wait, right. why did you buy in? At that point, that's, that's, that's just That's annoying, yeah, that's a that, D-bag move. That's all it is. It's just, it's just basically giving them the yeah. middle finger for no reason. Right. You know, I have no problems with people buying in in the middle of the roll as long as they make a bet. Right. Like, if you're going to play the game, cool, I don't want you to wait. If you want to play, play. That's what we're here for. Yeah. But if you're going to make a stop so that you can just take your money and put it on the rail and do nothing, right. why, what exactly was your reasoning behind that one? Don't get it. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I, I, I just don't understand it. These, these superstitions are... Are wild. They're it's crazy. Absolute, absolute riot. Some of what we, some of what we see. And these, know. these are just a handful that we've oh, kind of yeah. just off the top of our heads. There's plenty more that we, you know, if we, if we sat down and started writing <laughs> stuff out, we'd 
big old list. Oh, and I bet you Amy probably has a hundred of them. Oh my goodness, I bet she's got all of them. She's Players probably... are just, they're, they're absolutely just insane, some of them. Yeah. yeah there's, there's one player, the, two players I'm going to talk about real fast. Literally know who I'm talking about. No, we won't use any uh, any nicknames or names. But So one player, this both of these are before the masks. One player would drive us absolutely nuts. One, he's a motor mouth, but two, every time he shot, he'd get the dice, he'd set them, then he'd step back, take a drink, then go back and shoot. So every time we sent him the dice, from when we actually handed him the dice until he would throw them was usually around 30 to 45 seconds of yeah. everyone just staring at him like, oh, and, and he's also one that like taps his beds and superstitious turns stuff off. Like after three, after crap number, he turns all his mm -hmm. beds off because apparently mathematically seven suddenly stops being one in six chance but becomes six and six chance after, after a three. crap, right. Um, but yeah, every single time. And what was funny was he'd have the same drink. He would roll, he, he might have a hot roll, he might roll like, 20, 25 times, and you know, you've been to, if you've been to a casino, you know the drinks are not that big because um, they're free. And right. uh, he would be on the same half full drink, so I, I don't know if he was just backwashing it or just wanted to, to touch the straw with his tongue. But he looked like he's taking a drink, but that drink didn't empty on him. No, he just keep on keep on throwing it. It never moved. No. <laughs> and the, the you know when you drink something, it goes down. It just never moved. Because if it was me, uh. I'd be I'd be hammered. By, yeah. by the end of one of, his, one of his decent rolls, there's also another player that would lick his fingers before he picked up the dice to throw them, which just absolutely nauseated every, every dealer, every player. Now, luckily, COVID and masks killed that, and hopefully once the masks go away, it's still going to stay dead. But yeah, he would lick his fingers and then pick up the dice, which just grossed everybody out. just yeah. absolutely disgusting. Those dice have been everywhere. Oh yeah, I, I, and in fact, there was there was a day where I had him as a player, and about twenty minutes after he left, there's another player that actually kissed the dice. Like I get it, you know, blow on it, stuff like that. Okay, yeah, I, I can get that. But he actually kissed the dice, and I was yeah. like, dude, you do not know what is, where those dice have been, because hmm. <laughs> all I could think about was the player licking his fingers and then picking up the dice, and then this guy kisses those dice not too long after. Ugh. So I wonder. I, I wish the player was still there because I'd have told him you basically just kissed him. <laughs> it's That's just, funny. It was an absolute riot. Oh my goodness. So we will probably have a part three to this video. Oh, we're probably gonna have different parts. There, there <laughs> be, yeah, there could be many, many more yeah. parts, but we are we are definitely pushing the time on this one. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this. As always, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'm Jason. Louis. We'll catch you guys next time.